Lovely. Today we're joined by Gordon Cameron, ex-pilot, here at Rain Flitchway Walk. This used to be a railway line, didn't it, um, Gordon? That's correct. It was a very important railway line during the war, and because it served the local air bases. And uh, I used to sit on the station way back in 1944. Wow, that's interesting. Now we've got a carriage in place of the train line. Tell us a bit more about it. Yes, yeah, so the Flitzray members, they got all the money together to buy this carriage. It was bought in Eastleigh. Um, it was a special one that used to run on the Rivera Express. And when it came out of service, we were very fortunate to get it. And that's why it's in the special colours of royal blue and cream. And it's a museum as well, isn't it? Yes, after we managed to get it onto the tracks, uh, we managed to turn it into a museum, which has been well helped by others. And uh, we have now got a classroom and we even have the local schools come along. So it's benefiting all the community. And I know that there, you've got a strong um, passion here to help bereaved women and men that may find themselves alone and it's a place for them to come chat yes it's here to serve the community having a wonderful place like the Fritch Way we have tried to encourage them to use it because so many of the hospitals are taken up with obesity they can run they can cycle and also those that are lonely who have lost people they can come and have a talk help us and they're back into the community again which is rather important well, I think so, and it's been great talking to you. Thank you. Hi, today we're joined by Stan Davis, who is the chairman of the Friends of the Flitchway. So Stan was there right at the very beginning. Tell us a little bit about that, Stan. I was from 2004, and it all started from two of our members, John Moss and Wendy Moss, who live locally. They enjoyed walking along the Flitchway, but they found that uh, bramble and uh, un vegetation was overgrowing the path and they asked one of the rangers who was based at rain station at the time whether he minded if they cut back some of the, uh, the vegetation to make it a bit easier he agreed with uh, to them doing that and by word of mouth other volunteers came along and this event today with the uh, the new carriage and the museum it really is a great opportunity for people to come together isn't it it is very much so. Again, we've, uh, there are lots of, uh, of local people who are here today visiting the, uh, the station uh, and it's very nice to, to see them. We have tried to, uh, to make this a community carriage really for, uh, for people within the community to get involved uh, and they've done so by helping us to renovate the, uh, the carriage and also by now volunteering to, uh, to look after the carriage and monitor it when it is open to the public. You've got a whole map of the Flitch in the museum. We have. It's an Ordnance Survey map from the early 1950s, which originally was in the little museum that they had in the station building. And we have adapted that to fit. It fits perfectly within the, uh, the carriage now. And it's interesting, for uh, again, for local people to be able to see on the Ordnance Survey map where they currently live, because the map shows the area before it was developed and before all the new housing uh, was uh, built around here. We're now in, in May and it was only just over 12 months ago when we started to renovate the, uh, the carriage and bring it up to what it is uh, today. Uh, and we've achieved an awful lot within, uh, within that short period of time. Well, I'd certainly say it's a great achievement. It's been great talking to you today, Stan. Thank you again. Thank you very much. And it's nice to see so many people here today. Hi, today we are joined with Wendy Moss. Wendy, tell us a little bit about what your involvement is in the Flitchway Walk. Um, I'm the secretary and volunteer coordinator for the Flitchway, for the Friends of the Flitchway. And what we do is look after the Flitchway. We, we actually work with the Essex County Council Rangers. That's how we started, that we were recruited as volunteers for the Essex County Council Rangers. Um, I took on the job of coordinating the volunteers and it's sort of taken off to become the Friends of the Flitchway. We need volunteers because we've got a huge job, really, we're looking after the Flitchway and the railway carriage. Um, part of what we do is we also um, open up the footpaths throughout Essex. We've got a group um, called a P3 group who go out on a Wednesday and they open up footpaths, they build bridges, they put in kissing gates, they do all that sort of thing. Could you tell us a little bit about what else goes on here and other things that you've got 
um, the message behind all of this? Yeah. Well, um, a lot of people that volunteer are, are people on their own. Um, people that perhaps have lost a loved one or whatever, and they find that they've you know got a lot of time on their hands and don't know what to do with it, and they want to make friends. Well, this is an absolutely wonderful opportunity because we're a very social group, and um, you know people come along to work on the Flitchway, or some of them come and work in the railway carriage and they get to meet people, get to be able to talk to people every day. We've also got young people and young people that have, have been left on their own. And the whole point of the carriage is that it's going to be used for the community. We want schools to use it, we want the brownies and the scouts to use it. And it's free for them. You know, we just want people to come forward and say we would like to use this carriage for our um, scouts group or for the school to come in and perhaps have an educational day learning about the railway we've got DVDs all sorts of things in there that they can use 